What up, party people? Welcome to Rap Sky and Brigade. I am Guy Fox, once again playing Tales from the Borderlands. Tonight we're doing episode four, Escape Plan Bravo. Thank you for joining me tonight. And uh, we just jump right on into it. What's my mic doing now? Ben, can you hear me? Can you hear me now? You can hear me? Awesome. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, looks like we're going to see a scooter in this one. Yeah, we saw a scooter like maybe two episodes ago. darkest moment in any hero's tale usually comes just when things are finally falling into place. Our unlikely heroes have discovered the unfinished, top secret project of the doomed Atlas Corporation. The Gortis Robot. Searching for the robot's missing components made the dream of the vault seem closer than ever. Even though the former middle manager was still haunted by the demented ghost of Hyperion Pass. Oh, this is pretty much the cutest robot since Wally. This is mine. Unfortunately, any dream can quickly turn into a nightmare, and this nightmare's name was Valerie. Fortunately, Valerie's killing spree was interrupted when another dangerous adversary was suddenly revealed as a powerful ally. Nina, now, supported by legendary gladiator, their search continued through the icy wastes of the borderlands to a forgotten Garden of Eden. There, they found another piece of the Gortis robot, as well as the last surviving man on the Gladiator's murder bucket list. As she prepared to take revenge, I made a foul. the con artist intervened. <laughs> that was the moment that Valerie chose to strike. Outgunned and outmaneuvered, the con artist and salary man were forced to surrender. Now, they were working for Valerie. And their first job was likely to be their last. Dun dun dun. can't survive directly. We can find shelter. Looks like we're in for some showers. Oh, awesome. Yeah, let's let's do that. Can't wait. Are you thinking? It looks like you're you're thinking. That suit he's wearing. It looks familiar, but I hmm, I can't place it. Yeah, yeah, I hear it. Ends up being Felix. I'm going to be so pissed what the off. Hell is this guy getting out of all this? I can't figure it out. This endless march down memory lane. There's gotta be a reason for it. He wants a vault. Why else would he be collecting Gordas pieces? He's just like every idiot on Pandora looking to strike it rich. Aren't, uh, aren't you kind of, you know, vault hunting now? Are you calling me an idiot? Yeah, it's what I did there. Yeah. I feel like we should do something. If we get to those hills, maybe we could lose him. Yes, I don't know. What's he gonna do, huh? Shoot us both? Don't be stupid. He has a gun. So? He clearly needs us for something. If he wanted to shoot us, he already would have. <laughs> I think all those shots to the head are taking their toll. That hasn't helped. I'm making a break for it. And you should too. Remember, <laughs> zigzag when you run, okay? It uh, makes you harder to hit. That sounds Serpentine. stupid. It's not stupid, it's... It's genius. All right. Does not help you fleeing from alligators, by the way. Just so you know. Two. Three. Go! Iris, you're dumb. That's a weird way to run. He's zigzagging. It apparently makes him harder to hit. Of course. Ah! What the hell was that? I don't 
So, you just gave away Gordas. She was taken. And you were stuck under Valerie's gun. It was a rocket launcher, okay? It was massive. Even for her. Vaughn? Vaughn! Shut up. <laughs> Dude. The squeeze right there. Not so rough. Cordis hasn't been missing leg day. Sorry, boss. The hey, nerd. guy with the pedo stash. Some old dude with crazy hair ran off with it. That's okay. We've got what's important. I'm not kidding, like... There, there. There is no human being no, that that mustache looks good on. I'll answer your questions. Please, just promise that you won't hurt anyone. Of course, dear. I don't want to hurt anyone that's being cooperative. Lie to Gordas Gordas. and tell hey, her it's going to be okay. Me. It'll be all right. Now, tell me about the Vault of the Traveler. The, the Vault of the Traveler teleports all over the universe, only staying in one spot for a few minutes before blinking away. But once I have my last piece, the beacon that's up on Helios... I can summon the vault and hold it here, then you collect treasure or something. What does the beacon look like? I'm good in a vault. There's the vault of the destroyer, I, the vault of the warrior. I don't then know. I've, there's the vault but of the I'll traveler. know it when I see it. That's what I happened with all the last the way piece. Through sequel. Well, so I that's don't know if that actually exciting. ends at a vault on the moon. Thank you, gorgeous. And you're, if it does, I don't know what's in that welcome. vault. Can I get away from you but, now? Of course. Best experience tells me that basically the only thing in vaults are giant Look monsters. You, Fiona. Just so angry. <clears throat> Is this about Athena? You're feeling you guilty. You hurt anyone. That's what's got Leave you. Leave her alone! You can't blame yourself. Where did they take Athena? It seems Lilith and the Crimson Raiders have some questions for her. For what? Your friend has a long list of heinous things she has to answer for. Now listen up. Under normal <gasps> circumstances, your rotting corpses would already be getting torn apart by skags right now. But these are not normal circumstances. And with that last piece being on Helios, I can't think of a better crew than a pair of Pandoran con artists and a Hyperion stooge to figure out a way to get it for me. Yes. What do you say? I have this feeling. And I'll give you a hint. Only because only right I've run. Yes. Don't buy of, any uh, of this bullshit, Fiona. This is not a negotiation. I've run a couple of tabletop yeah, games okay. where your choices are supposed to uh, affect well, the outcome. Well, that's just lovely. And here I thought I was going to have to stab someone. I've also played uh, a couple of them. Son. It just feels yeah. like and help them no matter what I do in this game, it. It yes, kind of proceeds along the same track. Let's get cracking. You know, maybe, maybe Vasquez would have survived. That I'm not super clear on. But there's a lot of things where I make a choice. And it seems like that choice doesn't really directly impact the story. Maybe it does at first, and then something happens to roll my choice back. an option. Neither is getting ourselves killed. What do you guys think? One way or another, we're going to figure out how to pull this off. Okay, let's start with how we're gonna get there. Well, okay, this isn't the first okay, time we've had to get on. creative. We'll, Look, I we'll... know what we have to do. Thank you. All right, guys, it boils down to this. Somehow we've got to get to Helios, infiltrate Hyperion, and steal Gordas's vault beacon. Sorry, that was breakfast. <clears throat> Sorry. Without getting ourselves killed. Nice. 
No shit, moron. I just said that like 30 seconds ago. Everyone knows what we have to do. We're just trying to figure out how to do it. Okay, okay. If you start being so negative, like, what was the point of me making that choice? If ever, it, it didn't affect anything. Hit the taco truck. Right now, I don't see how that's gonna happen. Wow, you we'll got the magic, together, kid. They should bottle the so stuff. Call it weak wrong. sauce. And that's why we have to drill down. No, no, I'm sure there's. Oh, uh, balls! I don't want to do this. Keep but I don't see another choice. Actually, I could use your help. Yeah, of course you could. Is that a yes or no? What? You think old Jack would leave his meat buddy hanging? We don't have a choice. I. I honestly into don't a know how to answer that. You don't think I know that? Then maybe All try right, coming okay. up with no, a few we've solutions. had our differences, okay, and I'll one. admit I can get pretty grouchy when I don't get no, my own way. But to maximize Fine. our What's chances, solution, I'm ready to bury the hatchet. I don't know, right. but I know we can. Bury the hatchet in my fucking face. I know I don't really have any hands right now. Oh, which is a real bitch, I tell you what. You help us out, and you can consider that hatchet good and buried. Then it's a deal, Daddy-o. Stick with a verbal agreement, shall we? Yeah, what I'm saying is this, I got your beacon somewhere in my office. Get in there, and it's mission accomplished, baby. I just don't see how we're gonna do this. You don't get that beacon. You're all as good as dead. You're not helping. You know, it's gonna end up being like, you're gonna oh, go great. to Jack's office, and there's like, to speak. he's gonna say, oh, press this button, that's how you get the beacon. And you're gonna press the button, and it's gonna end up like, cloning Jack or something. Uh, I believe I have some information that is relevant to your interests. The beacon is in handsome Jack's office. You pulled that out of your ass. Well, check it out. <laughs> Run it by Gordis. Uh, Fine. Excuse me. Hey, put the little robot on. Listen, you got access to a map of Helios? I do. See if you can focus your scan for the beacon in handsome Jack's old office. Let's see what we have here. Enhance? Oh, so you can say it. You're shitting me. I wouldn't know how. That whole uh. sector must be crawling with guards. Robo poopies. One why you think you could possibly break in. Uh, number two. Man. <laughs> how many people you gotta... I get that you're scared. Hey, I am too, but working together, I think we have a shot. Great. Sign me up. I don't know how we're gonna get through this. Teamwork, that's how. Then you better have a damn good plan. Oh, it's killer. Behold, Helios. Okay, now how do we get there? Oh, well, Helios is in space, so we need a spaceship, obviously. Well, we don't exactly have one lying around. Hey, what about Scooter? He said we could call him anytime. Well, you got yourself a rocket man, miss. Really? I had to... And then it's off to him. Aim for that. Pandora, we have liftoff. Before we dock, I'll tell Abed we've arrived. She'll help us. And why not call her now? Well, the less she knows, the safer she is. Yvette, we're back. Awesome, Reese. You're a hero. I'll tell the guards to let you through. Catch a ride on a rocket. At ease, soldier. Then I'll disable the security system. <laughs> yeah, it'll work. I thought I fucked that up. Fiona, you'll take Sasha and Gordis and go to the hub of heroism. Now, up on Helios, Jack's office is a museum. Hallowed ground. Not even Vasquez had access. Looks like the only sure access is the VIP tour. Need your More like a tour. mausoleum. From there, we'll get into Jack's office, where I'll- <laughs> Hang on. Uh, you'll need me for that, obviously. Once inside, Gordis will ID the piece. Wow! This place is huge! This way, please! And to the victors go the spoils. Told you. <laughs> Killer plan. Wait a minute. How are you gonna pull any of this off? Hyperion wants you dead. Then I better go as someone else. Oh. And 
for the grand finale. I'll digestruct a Vasquez. Then I'll get a vasectomy. But Hyperion's gonna want proof that Reese is dead. We'll use Vasquez's body. They'll never know the difference. This could actually maybe work. So I guess all that's left is pitching the plan to Valerie. She'll go for it. And getting me to Old Haven. And I'll go to Scooters. Nice. Hmm? That's so cool. how did what you YouTube videos about in Jack's office? Don't tell them, Princess. They'll sabotage the whole freaking mission. It just came out of nowhere. Don't do it! You'll only make things way worse. Well, it took me a minute to search my memory files, but boom! What do you know? It was right there all along. I don't like lying to them, but... Sounds I can't technology. afford to fuck with Jack Gotta yet. Love it. Reese, I'm there's hoping something I'm you need to get off your chest or listening. This right. You gotta admit, it was pretty weird when you passed out after we left the security office. What we're saying is that even if we could figure out a way to undertake this mission, we need to know you're a hundred percent. Most of your movies. Which you're clearly not. That have been out for a while, super in depth. You. Yeah, it definitely seems like something's up. Here's why you don't need to worry, because we're friggin' team like awesome. I've heard of movies with Mikey, That's why. Actually, together, nothing can stop us. Huh? Bring it in. We're the real thing. Let's hug it out. Um, don't no. look at me. I'll kill you. G go team. Thank you, '90s Brad Pitt. All right, Valerie signed off on the plan. Reese is going with Finch and Kroger. The rest of us are off to Hollow Point to get this thing spacey. Let's get to work. '90s Brad Pitt and his trusty sidekick John Waters mustache. August. Watch Gordas. I'll miss you! Just hurry up. I don't like being alone with this... thing. <gasps> but I like you so much! <clears throat> hey, have you got a plan for what to say to Scooter? Because he screwed him out of a lot of money for those caravan repairs. He could be angry. Scooter doesn't and get angry. Stuff about what he did to the Zafford clan? It's a pretty jolly guy for someone who just buried another man alive. Just be honest. He likes us and he's a he's a decent guy. Yeah. I mean, he'll probably jump at the chance to build something cool, right? Ha! It's a live and breathe the Fran Fiona, looking as fresh in her new duds as any gentle lady I ever seen. Come to see your old sponsor, huh? How go the races? I know you sure like going fast, haha. <laughs> Wait, no, not like you're a fast woman or. Oh, shoot. Uh, like racing. Oh, I hate to. Well, this is gonna be awkward, but we're gonna go for it. I'll oh, shut up. Oh, hey. So, uh. Mm, we lied about being racers. We were only in that one death rally. Oh. We just really needed repairs. Like, yeah. life or death stuff. Sorry. Oh no, I am so surprised. Come on, girl, I knew you wasn't racers. But you look like a couple of good-natured gals, and I never turned down an opportunity to help a couple ladies, especially when I got a crush on one of them, and I will not say who that is, no matter what. Fiona, shoot! What can I do you for? Not saying that I want to do you or nothing. No, it's just, well, not that I'm saying I wouldn't either. <laughs> uh, you want to even like open your mouths and make with the wording so I can I can shut mine. We need your help. Valerie's after us, and if we can't equip the caravan with a rocket <clears throat> and fly to Helios, we're all dead. Y'all need me? Oh man, I've always wanted to be somebody's knight in shining armor, saving all their lives and whatnot. Well, you're not quite. Uh, 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 uh. Just let him have this. Just let him have this. Fiona. I'm gonna be a hero. Woo! That all sounds great. Only problem is funding. No, don't worry about it. Valerie will pay for whatever we need to get to Helios, get the Gordas piece, and get out. I understood exactly half those words. Let's do it. 
Oh, wait, when I said that there was only one problem, I meant that there were two? Because look, I know a lot about cars and I know a lot about engines, but rockets are right out of my purview. My you business made a city rocket, fly. You wouldn't believe. But she's, uh, she's a little out of sorts. Oh, no. Jenny's been like that since she heard about some big vault hunter fight what happened out in the tundra. Athena ain't checked in for a while. She put two and two together. She ain't in much of a mood to do rocket stuff. Maybe you should talk to her, Fee. You're the last one who saw Athena, right? Yeah. Wait a minute. So if Athena hasn't checked in... But isn't this chick and Scooter Hi, Janie. friends with Lilith? Hi, hat girl. So won't Brick and Mordecai an be bringing Athena job. back here? As if anything's ever close easy enough? out here. I Where really is Sanctuary? This but Sanctuary's still flying in the sky, but, but she forgot Scooter's to not on Sanctuary anymore. Time we spoke. This is weird. Oh. This is weird. I heard the two of you talking. Her echo went dead after the fighting started. I couldn't... What was she doing? Why did she lie to me? I need to know. I know she was protecting you, but why? She said it wouldn't be dangerous. She said... She was... training me. For what? To be a vault hunter. She wasn't putting herself in danger for her own sake. She was teaching me how to survive. She wouldn't do something like that out of the goodness of her heart. An old friend of ours hired her. Yeah? And where's he? Oh, hell. Athena. So what happened to her exactly? Right? I've never seen Athena lose I a mean, they have those, you know... How'd she get grabbed? They come in on, like, the Echo, so you know, recorder, or, um... I've never seen anyone so much as... have Bluetooth in this game, but they never use them. It doesn't make sense. She can't... Damn it! She was saving my life. Valerie threw two Vault Hunters and her entire gang at Athena, but she held them off. She only surrendered to stop them from killing me. Your girlfriend is a hero. <laughs> I know. Ha ha ha. This is kind of awkward. Change the subject. These <sighs> nice ladies want us to build a rocket for them? What do you say? I don't know if I've got the parts. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, she's got I just want to know one last thing, and then I'll see about the rocket. Did she say anything about me before they took her? The way she acted, sometimes I didn't even know if she liked me. Uh, like maybe it. I was just a fluke or something. She told me to pass on a message. She said she loves you. She did? I... Oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, wow. Young lady, you are going to have yourself a rocket. And once I'm done Ooh. building it, I'm going to grab every gun I can carry, I'm going to drive out of here, I'm going to rescue my girlfriend, and I'm going to marry the piss out of her. Nice, I'm... got a new ally. I can probably build you something that'll break Atmo, but beyond that, you want a mechanic on board to make sure it doesn't explode on you. Oh, man! That sounds like a job for the scooter man if I ever heard one. And considering it's a dream of mine to catch a ride into space and all that, it would be like just, just wow. Scooter, want to come with? Be our onboard mechanic? You mean it? Whoa, space buddies! Poor allies. Killing it. Killing it on the ally game. Damn, I haven't been to Haven in a while. Right, here's how it's gonna go. The man with the plan right here is gonna track down the corpse. I shot at these guys so many times. What the fuck does it take to kill them? You go. All right, Reese. Let's just find Vasquez's body, get back here, and not. So you ah. are gonna have such a hard on for my office, Reese. It's well, it's huge. Two out of three ain't bad. My office, not your hard on. <clears throat> uh, back here again. Thought I'd close the book on this weird chapter of my life. Yeah, 
legs. Yeah, you better run. Buddy. You see? I told you so. Wallet head. All right, wallet head. Time to show your face back on Helios. Face! Face is face! Has no face! Oh, you better hope a psycho didn't use it for a skin pizza. Oh my god. The skin pizza pizza. Oh. so good right now. Oh god. Uh, Sorry, I didn't uh, uh, lunch. What were the pepperonis? Uh, a skin pizza. Oh, you uh, clearly haven't been on Pandora mm -hmm. long enough, compadre. <laughs> so I'm guessing what happened Fine is the skag ate his face, face. Mm. and get out of here get and us. I'm going to have to dig around in a skag pile to find it alright look Reese what happened between you and me that's in the past okay it's almost like it never happened. Let's just drop it, okay? So we can focus on finding the face. Okie dokie, I'll drop it like a moonshot into a basket full of puppies. No problemo. You gotta keep an eye on your friends during this Helios mission. At some point, should play through the pre-sequel and how you're not keeping an eye. find out exactly how it was Jack you know what? came to be such a total psycho. Well, looks like these psychos had themselves a little skin pizza party. How am I gonna find Vasquez's face in all this mess? That's what an echo eyes for, genius. Scan the faces from a nice stab-free distance. Unless you want to get up close and physical with some new psycho pals. Boof, disturbing. Not Vasquez's face disturbing, but still disturbing. Glad I wasn't invited to this pizza party. You and me, Pumpkin, let's rock this walk. Whoa, this place is scaring me, and I'm a frickin' hologram. I didn't scan them all. Uh, careful now. I want to end up psycho dinner. Scanning. Scanning. Ooh, Vasquez wasn't that ugly. Must have been one hell of a party. You know, in a messed up way, I kind of respect this psycho. I always thought I'd drink or sex myself to death, too. Because those really are the two best options. Of course, it's going to be the one that's the furthest away. God damn it, Jack, get out of the fucking. I didn't come anywhere near him. Are you kidding? Not now. Interrupt Rem Psycho! <laughs> Alright, good, good, again! This time with feeling! Give him the old smackdown! Atta boy! Need rest. Big day tomorrow. You die, I sleep. Smacky oh. Dabby! I should punch with this arm more often. You can listen up because I'm about to compliment you. No one ever became. <laughs> kind of looks like my ex girlfriend. I'd actually be okay with that. Sorry, Stacy. Nope. Well, this is a fun night. Vasquez's face. Oh, looks like we found our psycho. You only see this kind of thing on Pandora. Get me back to Helios, Reese. Pretty please. With strippers on top. We got this. 
Oh. God damn it. Oof, that is one ugly mug. Um, <clears throat> where, where am I gonna put it? Cram it in your pocket, I don't know. I, I can't mess up his face or the digistruct won't work. There goes nothing. Rip it off like a bandage. Quick and painful. Oh, mmm. Okay, just peeling it off, peeling off the face, not going to barf into his mouth with your mouth. <sighs> That's it, go on, peel off that face like a serial killer. You're sick. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it's stuck. Mm -mm. Oh, God, that's so... That, that is just the, the grossest thing I've ever seen. Oh, God, I can't stop now. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't tear, don't tear. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, pinch it off. Pinch it off. Uh, seriously? Oh, please don't do it. Please, please, please don't do this to me. Oh, gross. <laughs> yep. Baby's face, crunch its teeth. <laughs> Run! You're the only one running, pal. I can fly. So once I snatched that face pizza, gross, I sprinted out of Old Haven. Hundreds, no thousands of psychos chased me. Oh really? That many? Couldn't even count them all. You were too busy trying to save face. <laughs> it was one psycho, but he had a bomb strapped to his chest that had the stopping power of like a thousand, um, <clears throat> which could... So, one. One, yeah. Psycho with chest bomb. Boom! You said something about a bomb, Psycho? Oh, yeah. There. <laughs> Whoa, wait, dude! Great. Oh, we were supposed to bring back the body. Oh, we are still bringing it, babe. It's just gonna take a little longer to collect now. Think I got some baggies in the truck. Saran Wrap is your friend on Pandora. It ain't pretty, but this one fits your budget. Ugh, are Hyperion costumes necessary? Fiona will fit right in with her spiffy new duds, but Sash, you look about as low down Pandoran as they come. No offense, but if you want to be arrested within 10 seconds, be my guest. Hey, here's your disguise allowance. Don't think it'll be a regular thing. Money! Or get yourself something or get Sasha something nicer so she'll quit whining. Don't care either way. <clears throat> Just don't look Pandoran, or this mission will be over before it even started. <sighs> Sweet. So, what are you gonna get, sis? All right, let's see what we're working with. Hey, Fiona, the, uh, <clears throat> pricier option ain't too shabby. All right, thanks, Fee. I'll try it on in a bit. Hope it's worth the cash. Could have bought a lot of guns with that. sure what she's wearing is still oh yeah that 
does make sense. Ooh, that'll look good. Are you both blind? Oh, that's... That's what I want. Onyx Overlord. Scooter. You look like a dream! You're up, Saj. Make it quick. Huh. Not bad. Makes me feel like I could drink the tears of a million Yeah, I'm gonna scare her with the yes. fucking face. I'll fit right in at Hyperion. So, uh... I'm sorry about earlier. Uh, for what? Oh, nothing in particular. Just like to throw apologies out there in case I miss something, you know? Uh, better to play it safe. <laughs> That's a thing to do. I'm not even gonna ask. Maybe I should have scared her. Maybe yeah, she would have thought it was way. funny. I doubt it. I, I don't know. Hey, is this disguise gonna work? I figure you're the one with the eye for this. You and Vaughn are the only Hyperion I know. And you dress terrible, so maybe I should just take my chances. You look like absolute corporate scum. Huh, awesome. That's what I was going for. Yeah, well, mission accomplished. One thing. Hmm. I mean, being Hyperion is just as much about the attitude as, as the clothes, so... Uh, it, put, put your nose up like you're, you know, uh, tracking down a stench. Better? Perfect. Anyway, it's all yours. Thanks. Just gotta scan my severed face here. Yeah. Have fun with that. I don't know if you guys know this, but it's a lot harder to just get to the sever a face screen. from a skull and from a head. Oh, there we go. You would think. Okay, skin scan. Oh, you know, there's okay. the question of what you do with the eyes. Much worse on the side. <sighs> Unlocked. I get the feeling this is going to be horrifying. Oh. <sighs> That's convincing. Is it? Yeah, I mean, you look like a complete douchebag. Excellent. That is the look I was going for. Why does he sound like him, though? This is... The Digistruct was capable... Oh. Oh. Definitely weird. <clears throat> well, it's certainly... big. <gasps> That's Scooter for ya. I hope Vaughn's alright. I'm sure Cassius is looking out for him. We'll track them down when we get back. Holy crap, I love this song. <laughs> All right, that genuinely made me laugh. <laughs> this is the best part of the whole game. <laughs> it took us four episodes to get here, but I love that scene the most. Oh, man. This song to my Spotify playlist. I'm not 
Explain what happened to Bond. Very concerned. Oh, I'm sorry, Ben. Flip it for you later. <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh my god, that's awesome! Scene for the end of the game. This is amazing. They did, Jay. Yeah, they did. Go back to the top. Like we lost a couple of viewers right around the time of my raucous laughter. I hope it didn't disturb them somehow. Hey, you look like you've done that. Like you've done that before. I know it's where we're from, but it's never felt like home to me. I... I didn't think I'd ever see this. Guess you kept your promise. I always do. At least, with you. It looks so... I don't... peaceful. Who'd have thought? We haven't even gone that far, and it... All feels a million miles away. I think I prefer this view. Yeah. Me too. It's a shame we have to go back. Wish we could just turn this thing towards the nearest planet. We'd probably run out of fuel, so it's not a good idea, but... One day we won't have to. We'll be able to pick whichever planet we want. <laughs> I can't wait. Ugh. I keep forgetting they're here. <laughs> Once we get the beacon, we'll figure out a way to turn things back in our favor. Any ideas on how exactly we do that? Or are we just winging it? Again. I know we're good at improvising, but... We get the beacon, then ditch Valerie's goons. Leave them on Hyperion. Mm, I don't think Valerie will like it if August is left behind. I'm not really concerned with what Valerie likes and dislikes right now. Yeah. I gathered as much. Hey, watch it. Oh, sorry, man. Just got a wife for me, is all. It ain't bleeding or nothing. What the hell is this damn thing? It's, uh... Well, it's a satellite. Gonna launch it to, to advertise my franchise. You know what they say? Ain't no ad space like outer space. Of all the brands, you pick the one Hyperion hates. We're not drawing more attention to ourselves for some publicity stunt. Hey, there's no Whoa! need for that. Stop Come on, man. I gotta get some out of this trip. You won't be alive to collect it if we get blown into dust. We'll talk about it on the way back. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I get it. Prioritizing and all. It's cool. It's cool. Hey, Benjamin, what's up? Warning. Brief collision imminent. <gasps> Is that a person? Jesus. Hey, is Hendrix like still out there? The 
Jones. Henderson. Henderson, that was it. What? No, 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 don't get sucked into our intake or whatever. Detecting on center rocket booster. No shit! Tell us something we don't know. Did you know the damage is critical? So this is how I die. I knew it. I knew it! Is it something you can fix? Regrettably, not in my current state. The damage is too severe. The ship requires additional thrust. Right. Without additional thrust, that additional the ship thrust. is pulled back towards Pandora. Look, y'all, we yeah. do some compensating right here, and y'all are in luck, because that's my specialty. Now turn them other rockets up to 11. First one. these uncooperative rockets. Oh, right. Step three is us making out. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, man. Ah, don't you worry your pretty little yeah, all a bit bad but yourself. But I'll be walking you through it, though. So wait, the only protection you get out in space is a sort of helmet. Again, I didn't play it through the entire game, so this is somehow... That's like an invisible force field from the rest of their body. Alright, you go that way towards the rocket and I'll take care of the other one. Listen, we ain't got much time. Be careful, Fee. That's right. Easy does it. Whoa. Oh, God.
Awesome. Now get your ass over to my side. Make it fast. Stuck. Hey, stuck, didn't he? Can't do step two step one, right? No. Guess my arms aren't quite as long as I thought. Guys, that rocket's at critical. You gotta hurry. No conversating on this one. No. No, I, I can pull you out. Listen, there ain't nothing you can do. That I ain't already tried, okay? This can't be happening. I'm about to lose Scooter. Uh, what's going on out there? Nothing. Scooter. Don't you worry. Fiona's got this. Hey. Hey. You gotta go over there, pull that latch, and cut this rocket loose. There's no time for anything else, you understand? No, I am not leaving you. That is not an option. It is, and that's the only option, all right? No. no. Fiona, look at me. This baby's gonna blow, okay? That is happening. And you can't be here when it does. Now, don't you go feeling all sorry for me, all right? People on Pandora will be talking about an old scooter for a long time. Can't think of a more epic way to go. Y'all should be so lucky. You're a hero. You know that, right? I kinda am, huh? You are? Well, it feels good. Right Rocket is way past critical, guys! I don't believe it. I really don't believe we're gonna... lose Scooter here. believe that 2K would let him be killed off in a Telltale game. That's not the thing that I believe. Ah, uh, now go on. I gotta catch a ride. Oh, fucking God. Of course. back somehow we'll clone him or that destruct him or something stop jay stop you are breaking my heart oh ben thank you for the bits so oh, what did you do next What did we do? We honored him as best we could. Launching this on the way back isn't good enough. We're doing it now. Make it something good. It's the least we can do. There's gotta be catch a ride. Stopped working on games? That really was it? I I feel like for three they're gonna bring him back with a new actor. I can't. Oh, that'd be really fucked up if like in Borderlands 3 they just like explained his death away. The worst part is. Scooter was the best of us. He deserves so much better. 
He was definitely one of the nicest people I met on Pandora. Although that's not probably I am, saying much. I am anyway, perplexed, we didn't frankly. have much time to mourn and all that. Things started to get crazy the, the minute we happened. landed on Helios. Sorry, it's hard for me to take death seriously in a game where you respawn so much. So, um, if that's not it, um, answering. Uh, the Perfect. new U stations? You have mm -hmm. entered Hyperion airspace. Identify yourselves immediately. Okay, gang. <laughs> there we go. I repeat, identify yourselves or you will be shot down. Vasquez. Do not come any closer. It's Hugo Vasquez. I'm back. Hugo, huh? I guess we should roll out the red carpet. Uh, for starters, yeah, I'd also like some bubbly chilling in my office. Just, uh, not too cold, mind you. How about a warm bucket of piss? <laughs> You're lucky good old Hugo has a sense of humor. Are they fucking with Hugo? Get inside and disable security. I'll call you when it's safe to come out. Time to put on the game face. You've got some things to answer for. Vasquez. Almost seems like, uh... What's the word? Providence? Right. Providence. Sup, ladies, what you been doing? Talking about boys. Nope. Just discussing casual misogynism and how it manifests in corporate executives. Wow. Oh. See, yeah. I feel like they would have had a sarcastic response for whatever I said, though. This is what and I'm talking boys. about. Captain's brother is finally marrying <clears throat> his boyfriend. This is the happiest I've ever been. Orders are to verify what the hell you are doing down on Pandora. Ah, take it easy, guys. I just landed. In a hunk of Pandoran trash, no less. With half a loader bot stuck to the top. Hard. And what's that thing you dropped say? Catch a... Whatever the hell it says. It was a doll satellite. Now I suggest you start telling the truth. Before I blow your head off. So, what were you doing down there? Not too often the top brass venture to that dirt pile. You we wanna gotta, know what I was doing on Pandora? You gotta keep playing like I'm your mom. Is. My mom is dead. Oh. Yeah, but I got, you know, very important places to be. So I'll just be on my way. Nah. What do you mean, nah? Here's how it is. You come up here full of piss and bullets, and the first thing you do is dishonor the memory of my mom. So no, you're not going anywhere. I'll take it from here. Thank you. Hey, Bat, so good to see you. We need to catch up. Bring it in for testing. What the hell happened to Reese? This is unbelievable. Could we talk somewhere that's less exposed? We're fine right here. I'd like to shed more light on the situation. The situation is that you brought Reese back in pieces. Our deal was clear. You were supposed to retrieve his head so management could download whatever the hell was inside of there that was so damn valuable. Now we'll never collect the- Holy shit, Yvette. Lost a critical Hyperion asset. 
I'm if sure. that was playing me the whole time. But can you remind me what's in Reese's head that's so You're kidding valuable? me. And all the excitement on Pandora, it must have slipped my mind. I guess our reward that slipped your mind too. Really pisses me off. You had one job, oh my and God. well, you blew it. I'm taking you straight to management. Let's see how you like answering to them. I've had it with you. Let's see how big of a smartass you are under questioning. Fine, I'm sure they'll also want to hear about the $10 million you embezzled with your friends. That's right. I've got eyes and ears everywhere. That sounded weird, but you know what I mean. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, yes, you do, Yvette. This is far from over. I cannot believe Yvette was fucking playing me this way. This whole time! This is... First time in a Borderlands game I've never had a gun, and I've wanted one so many times. Tell us when it's safe to move. The vet's scanning the body, so we gotta hurry. I'm taking over the cameras now. Child's play. And we're linked. Now for the password. All right, all right, you wanna dance? Let's dance. Alright, well, I'll destroy it. Hey, not bad, killer. Good luck keeping up the pace, though. Bet that little cyber arm of yours is getting pretty tired. Oh, boy. I don't know. I don't know. It's Giles' play, right, pal? Well, the security is a bit tougher than I expected. And now I brought the program. So let's send an icebreaker into that frozen sea of code, shall we? This is Jack Hack Attack coming at you, baby! Every freaking rule! And that is not the royal we this time. Oh, I thought I was supposed to be following it. I guess it was just helping me. Ah, security cameras have been breached. Now, go forth and lay waste, my son. Just one sec. Let me find you. Fiona, I'm in. Nice work. If I do say so myself. Tell us where to go, Reese. Uh, the door's up ahead. Come on, this way. Okay, we're at the hub of heroism. Jack's office is across the atrium. That's where the tours meet. Got it. Looks like it's time to put on our tour guide hat. We only need their badge, and then we're out of here. Although I could use a new hat. 
Pretending to be a tour guide for a place we've never been and know nothing about. This'll end well. Look at these assholes. So proud of themselves. I wonder if they know they're evil. What a bunch of losers. Everyone knows they're evil. That's the whole point. For this? I was fabricated, programmed, and wired ready. I was also built to dance. What the hell are you doing here? Motivational speaker. Said my gun doesn't talk. Do your job, or you'll hear what she has to say. Handsome Jack Memorial and Tor. It's like they worship. Spot our tour guide yet? Not yet. Reese, we need an assist. All right, checking the schedule. Checking the schedule. All right, a guide will be coming off our tour. We're on it. All right. There's the tour guide. Standard distract and grab. Yeah. When I'm in position behind the tour guide, that's your cue to get her talking. First opening I find, I'll lift her badge. Oh, oh, oh! What about me? Oh, you've got the most important job of all, Gordis. Once I have the badge, you gotta get the tour guide out of the room. Roger that, General Captain Lieutenant Ma'am. Private Gordas is on the job. Can you believe they call that stuff in the cafeteria food? <laughs> That's why I stick to coffee. Hides the whiskey on my breath. A woman after my own heart. Uh, I've been thinking. If Hyperion served real food, not that free hyper hide. They didn't make me aim for that one. You. Do you have any idea who this is? A uh, nice tour guide, Link. Come on, I'll help you find a change of clothes. You know, have you ever considered a management position? I mean, the way you demean that little robot, you'd be perfect. Where do I put in my application? Hello, Reese. You have the privilege of speaking to Helios's newest tour guide. Well done. Your criminal instinct shines again. I'm heading up to Jack's office with Gordas. Hi, Reese! Oh, damn it! What? What's happening? They know they've been hacked. I got this, but you need to hurry and keep a low profile. <sighs> low profile with okay. Gordas should be so easy. Keep your eyes on the prize. Attention. Helios is on heightened alert. Please report any suspicious activity immediately. That's exactly what I was 
exactly what I what went through my head. I don't like their faces. They aren't moving. Who's this? These guys are uh, in a cult. Barely These guys are in a cult. Pretty though. So, <laughs> you guys are a tour group. We're the Handsome Jack VIP experience. The best tour money can buy. It better be. So are you gonna give us the tour or not? Oh, um, she. I don't think Fiona actually kept us waiting knows anything long about. Uh, yeah, let's start the tour already. Yep, let's go let's for it. Let's go crazy. VIPs. Well, get ready for a once-in-a-lifetime experience for all of us. How am I gonna bullshit my way through this one? Fiona knows nothing about Handsome Jack is the thing. Here we go. The uh, first stop of the Handsome Jack VIP experience. He's gonna bullshit about Wrist all these depicts. posters. Oh, I cannot wait to hear about this. Ooh. Ah. Handsome Jack. Defeating, um. Oh, man, what didn't Handsome Jack do? Cool! The entire army of Gremtilius by rolling over it with a giant eyeball. Huh. What a mess. Whoa, you are totally blowing my mind right now. Quite a mm. sight to behold, isn't it? That's a good this, way to put it, Jimmy. My friends. Is it's Bud Stallion! No way. Jack's infamous horse, made from real diamonds. And, uh... Called Bud Stallion. Wish I had a horse like that. If you Perhaps feed it, guns. the stallion will crap high-velocity weaponry. Oh, so this is Bud Stallion. Ooh. I'm so happy ah, right now. Whoa. Okay. If you'll follow me, we're on to our third and... Final. I actually got to Can't meet wait. Bud Stallion in uh, um, uh, yeah, D and D esque DLC. Ooh. It's called a. Um, uh, kind of just looks like a chair. Bullets and bounty hunters uh, or something. I think I have one like that in my office. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Jack's chair of champions. He made every great decision from this chair. He ate brunch, lunch, and dinner here. He even strapped it to the back of his diamond pony to prance into battle. Can I sit in the chair? That chair is not for sitting. Sorry about that. I had to leave my chair for a throne. Oh, god chair. damn it. Wait a minute. That wasn't an exhibit at all. So, why would you tell us that it is? Uh, I think they call people like that liars. Boom, gotcha. <laughs> Good one, right? All right, enough chit chat. Come on through so you can see Jack's office. Well. I'm gonna need you to step aside and raise your arms. Ho oh, ho, I knew there was something off about her. Yeah, she was weirdly ignorant for a guy. Yeah, I don't trust her. You're welcome for the awesome tour. Awesome? Yeah, it seemed like you just made up half of it. You ungrateful little poser. <laughs> okay, if posing as Handsome Jack is a crime, then find me guilty. What's this? It was a gift. What's in it? Look for yourself. No metal objects. Next time it's mine. Understood. You still don't know what it. <laughs> We're almost there. Now for the main event. Even you can't ruin this for me. Thank you. 
Can you ID the beacon? It's gotta be in there somewhere. Let me look. Hmm. Can't see it from here. Maybe I can just... Stop. Ew. Yep. Why? Oh, boy. I, 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 I can't believe we're here. Uh, here it is. Your hero's office. Is it safe to go inside? Uh... Gotta be. I paid good money for this. Uh-uh. I want the full Handsome Jack VIP experience. That means going all the way. Uh, I really wouldn't. Yeah, you know what? We don't need your permission. Thank you for taking the Oh my god. Oh. Oh god. We hope you enjoyed your tour. Goddamn death trap. Okay, uh let's go. Everybody out. I'm not cleaning that shit up again. You got this. That's awesome. That's a heavy duty looking door. This better work. Damn it. Now, sorry, hold on. Yeah? I can't get into Jack's office. What? You gotta be kidding me. You had one job! Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Just open the door. Just do your wacky, hacky thing so I can get in. Okay, wacky hack hacky. is the worst thing you've ever said to me, and and that is saying a lot. I I, I can't seem to get in. I mean, the, the lockdown security system must be on a local grid or something. Now, so I can understand. It means that we need another way in. Okay, okay, we just I just need to think about this for a second and. Uh, maybe if we, uh, um, um, hold tight, okay? I gotta call you back. That's here. Crap. He said to hold tight! Oh. That's cool. Well, what's he doing in there? Damn it! Get out of my way. <laughs> Newsflash, asshole! This is my office now. First, you give me a body that isn't reason. Then you go hacking my computer. What are you doing? You're trying to pull something. I know it. You uh, really want to talk to me like that? You can't just come back after what you did and expect things to be the same. Sure, I can. We had a deal, asshole. I tracked Reese and Vaughn all across Pandora oh. for you. I refused them supplies when they needed them. And this all you had to do was right bring whatever the hell was living you, inside of Reese's head. I knew uh. I shouldn't have trusted you. Of course you'd betray me. You're only out for yourself. If you couldn't handle the risk, maybe you shouldn't have taken Vasquez's deal. My deal. I am Vasquez. Last one, yeah. Ninny. So in the first place, maybe you shouldn't have. Weren't Reese and Vaughn your friends? They were dead the second they set foot on Pandora. If I was gonna lose them anyway, I might as well get something out of it. But you still haven't answered me. Why bring a body that wasn't Reese? I can't believe you thought I wouldn't find out. Well, you seriously underestimated me. You're right. Reese isn't dead. What? I have no idea what's going on here, but I don't like it. I'm calling security. Thank you for calling security. You are the Hey, how you doing? And, uh, get her off that phone if I was you, unless you want to be a bullet sponge. I need your... Yeah, cool. Time to decide what's mightier, the pen or the punch. All security officers are busy. Please continue to hold. Yvette, we need to talk. Oh, yeah? What about? You got this, pal. Don't mess it up or we'll die. Security officers are busy eliminating other threats and we'll take your call in the order it was received. Everything is gonna be fine, okay? By tomorrow, you'll be sipping macchiatos with the rest of the galaxy's most morally flexible. That's not your style, Hugo. What are you playing at? Uh, oh, fuck it. Probably because... I'm Reese. 
Reese? Reese! And Jack, don't forget me. You can't just walk around telling people who you really are. I mean, they're not unless you want me to sap them. Although, I do really enjoy sapping people so much. I mean, he was in stop control. taking over my arm. Then stop saying stupid shit that makes people want to kill us. So, yeah, anyway, stop doing that. Okay, bye. That was a gamble. I rolled the dice, and that's what happened. Fiona, you there? Reese, what took you so long? Do you forget that we have a, you know, a mission to accomplish? Yvette sold us out to Vasquez. I thought she was our friend. Oh, friends are rare when money's on the table. I'm sorry, Reese. So yeah, Jack's office is on total lockdown and I can't get the beacon. Little help? Uh... I'm working on it. Well, work faster. No vegan means no law it means everybody's gonna die! At least we're all doomed together! Yay! Come on, Reese, it'll come to you. You know, if I were you with that stun baton, I would've drained the friggin' battery on Yvette. Well, that's not quite true. If I were you, I would've bought Yvette a one-way ticket to strangulation count. Jack, if you're not here to help, get lost. Don't tell me to get lost. You get lost. Uh, I, I can't think when you're talking. I'll call, I'll call you back. Wait, what? Reese! As I was saying, I'm here to help. Just surprised a handsome Jack fan like you doesn't know I have a trap door in my office. And let me tell you, you're gonna love it. Yeah, 11 love hours, Kendra? Make a and, yeah, maybe some brains and whatnot. Just, 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 just to make sure, this... Trap door. Is it a is it a way out door or an instant death trap door? You know, I like to think of it as the best of both worlds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but am I gonna die when I go through it? You know, I'd be insulted if I didn't know you better. Which is it? It's the key to our whole plan. You're gonna need to go in the out hole while someone yanks the lever. It's not as sexy as it sounds. A lot of people died down there. No, oh, what did I agree to? A brilliant plan. With my office on lockdown, climbing up the trap door is the only way in. And you get to do it all from the safety of a prison cell. I mean, I I've heard of some killer plans in my time, but this one takes the cupcake. You're, you're, just, you're just pulling my leg, right? Ordinarily, sure. But this is no time for jokes. Not with the event mess and your disguise breaking down. Okay then, guess that counts as a plan. Yeah, it does. All right, the first step, though, is to make sure oh, that inventory. Con Artist Babe of yours joins you on the prison level, and we're gold. You can access the jackhole oh, there. Oh, God. Jeez. Tell me you've got a plan. Oh, yeah, it's a... <laughs> it's a real doozy. Oh, let's hear it. Hey, Feet, you have got to see the head tour guide's office. The view is unbelievable. Not now. We gotta change the plan. What's up? You need to get down to the prison level now. Got it. On my way. All right. I'll see you there. Wait, how? I don't have clearance for that. Oh, uh, right. Uh, I don't, uh, just get arrested. Arrested? Yeah, that's the exact opposite of what we've been trying to do. Just do it and do it quick. I gotta go. All right. We do this Pandoran style. Hey! Hey! What do you think you're doing? Putting this horse down. Grr, I'm ready for prison life! <gasps> why? Why is it... You didn't see anything! Why is it doing that? Stop fucking! Why is it bleeding? There's, there's blood! Why is there blood? Where do you just fail the strawberry jam? What the fuck?
told you, just get arrested and meet Reese. me at... Reese, are you there? Uh, Vaughn? Vaughn? Hey, I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm with Cassie. Okay, Vaughn's alive. Save me back there, and we're just... I don't know where, but we're eating drake fruit. Really want to... What the... I mean, I knew Butt Vaughn? Stallion was real, Vaughn? but I just thought it was, like, taxidermied. Yes! Talk or walk, ladies. I don't have time for both. You made me and my accounting boys look like idiots with that 10 million you stole. It's gonna take years to do all the paperwork. Better. Up to it. <clears throat> Sorry, just ate a burrito. Never mess with accountants, Vasquez. You can always count on us outnumbering you. Yeah, I shot Butt Stallion. I thought clicking on the left was gonna have me go for the pile of guns that had fallen out of Butt Stallion's ass. I didn't want to shoot Butt Stallion. I love this game. Oh shit! It's like in that show Spaced with Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. That is tagline. I've been counting. Get down. Ah! 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 Yeah, that's definitely from space. This is it. Oh, fuck me. Basically, what all the mocap people do anyway, like all the time, is these finger gun fights. <laughs> Thank you for sparing the janitor. Janitor's like, oh, I gotta clean up some more dead bodies on Helios. Must be Tuesday. Right, you know, screw this thing. You saw nothing, okay? Sometimes the light plays tricks. Makes a statue look like it's seeping blood, but it's all just in your head. I know a bleeding statue when I you see know one. Nothing. Hey, what's going on here with Hey, what's going on? I'm Vasquez. Did you just say race? Nothing! 
Oh, okay, they're not mocap for Telltale. I could have swore you said race. Not everybody can afford the tech. Is that the name of the dead guy they picked up on Pandora. I think she said release. Release? Yeah, like, hey, release me. How pathetic. Right. Except what she apparently said was, Oh, hi, release. Things are going great. Yeah, that's a weird sentence, isn't it? So what is it that I can help you with, Mr. Vasquez? Because if it's related to the incident upstairs... Yeah, I've got some heavy interrogation ahead of me with this Pandoran scum. Interrogation? Oh, yeah, you don't do whatever they did and not get some interrogation for your trouble. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Go on and grab some lunch or something. Hey, I hear the macaroni is the good. Thing is, I, got this I don't know that uh, an actual grenade. Let me know if you need anything. Well, do. Back. I mean, maybe it does, but uh, I know that typically. Nice job. Bodily reactions to munitions uh, in the movies are not like in real life. I mean, you know. So modern days, what is this plan exactly? I found out about a trap door that leads to Jack's office. We I don't just know. Figure Having out a way never out. been hit with grenade shrapnel myself before, I couldn't say with certainty. That looks fun. So I'm guessing the plan doesn't involve you getting most by a death machine. No, that's that's a problem. Why not just put another disintegrating force field somewhere in there? Why the fucking danger room so shit? And now I pull you up on the comm so you can identify the piece. Sounds like a plan. Wait, we gotta. Wait, go if I ever get married, I'm gonna take home. my Didn't friend Viet Wynn's advice. No wonder you're single. And uh, instead of no, saying I do, I'm, I'm just gonna say, sounds like a plan. Hey, Gordis, you uh, you wanna go first, huh? Yeah. No, thank you. Well, aren't robots supposed to obey orders or something? Mm, oh, dear, obviously. Get it now. So, Fiona, I need you to hold this while Gordas boosts me up. Don't worry about hurting me. Just climb on up. Well, I guess it's tough to hurt someone made of metal. Oh, no. This is excruciatingly painful. But hey, I'm a team player. Reese wouldn't let us down. Oh, you haven't been around him as long as I have. You know, Fiona, sometimes you just gotta trust people. That hasn't worked out for me so far. Well, maybe this time is different. All right, Gordis, just give me a little boost up there. No problem. Hurry up, Reese. Okay. Well, How was that? Hardcore upper body strength. I could have expected. Thanks. No problem. Try not to die. Reese, you all right? Yeah. Nope. Good thing I got that puking out of my system. I promise. Maybe we should I step away. Reese, you can do it. Climbing with your cyber arm should be easy. Easy, right? <laughs> Stupid, nice robot. You heard her. Why? Why? You've got oh, some stop. Hey, I don't know when you gave them the slip, but Finch and Kroger are out there looking for you, and things are gonna get messy if you start messing with us. Don't forget what's on the line here. You get us what we want, what we agreed to, and no one has to get hurt. Dude, I am in the middle of something. I'm gonna have to call you back. What? Listen to me, you. God, so dramatic. Yes, August will remember that. Oh no? Really? I got a pass on that one?
That's the wrong thing. Hey, check you out. You made it. In the end, we make a pretty good team, huh? I mean, we had our differences, but we got here. My office. Well, uh, our office now. This place is just overflowing with assholes. I don't know how I stood it for so long. Cause you had to. But hey, you're in the big leagues now. Where Jack's gonna fuck me, I'm certain of it. Wow. I used to dream about being here. Anyway, where's the Gordis Beacon? Uh, it's gotta be over there somewhere. It's where all the corporate warfare fallout is. Ton of Atlas crap. Soak it in, kid. Enjoy yourself. Do you want this cathedral as your office? Welcome to my trophy case, huh? Got a couple of killer relics, a few artifacts. Oh, there's a stock certificate signifying that I own Atlas. That's pretty freaking cool. Nothing feels better than crushing a company's value to the point where you can buy all their shares with pocket change. It's delish. Gordis, you there? Hey! Uh, hi. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna show you the pieces now. You let me know which one it is, all right? I'll be down there in a minute. Okay, see you soon. Not much to look at. Okay, here we go. The big seat is all yours. You trigger the trap door from there. That's <sighs> where I die, I'm sure of it. With that gorgeous thing? What is this? Ah, it's a piece from an early immortality suit prototype, but it uh, killed the subject, which is great, but just not what we're going for. Douche through and through. Oh, it's Angel. Who's this? Oh, uh, yeah, that's my Angel. Don't usually like people knowing about her, but. You and me are pretty tight. Once we're done with all this vault stuff, I'd like to check up on her. If that's cool. She's dead. How are you gonna check up? A hologram doesn't know she's dead. Oh dear. Oh. Wait a minute. Fucking one side of his pants is striped and the other isn't? Feels good. The weirdest fashion Not statement really ever. And the same with the shirt. The opposites. <laughs> Your fashion is fucked up, big man. Chair, huh? It suits you. You look good. So tell me how to trigger the trap door. It's behind your pinky. This could be our last chance to chat, you and I. For years, I ruled Hyperion from this room. And now you're here, where it all started. How's it feel, kiddo? He's gonna stab There's me in the back. You said I know he's a cushy gonna chair with a bunch of big, important buttons that can raise hellfire on people. It feels he's gonna like stab I'm me in the front, in the chair but of still. a supervillain. But you, 
could succeed where I failed. Use our power to make things right, Reese. But say, we shared the power I had when I sat in this room. What would you do with it? Now, you're gonna switch back to Fiona's perspective what now? What the hell is taking him so long? Reese, the machine is off. Did you get the beacon? We're ready for you. All good. Just getting into position. Oh! Someone is here! Hey! Oh, it's you! How are you doing? Gordas, come back over here. Wow! You're all telling me to do the same thing! What are the odds of that? Oh man, it's probably August and them. We could wield Hyperion's might together. There's Sasha How better have been move? captured just now. Hypothetical. Of course. She better not Still, have ratted me out. You gotta know what you want. That's gonna be You're gonna make it, kid. Fucked up. Like I told you after we escaped Old Haven. Remember? That fixed Pandora. There's some good people down there. They deserve better than a world full of psychos. Yeah, that's what I wanted. But hell, maybe you'll pull it off. Who knows? You've done well so far, kid. But imagine, Reese, if it wasn't hypothetical. You ever wonder why Nakayama created me? This whole AI thing? I was supposed to find a worthy successor to the Hyperion throne. And that successor, Reese, is you. If you join me, we can rule together. What do you say, kid? Exactly what he'd say if he was planning to stab you in the right. back. So, if you don't jack in now, you'll never get another shot. Hell no! You're a psychopath. Why would I trust you? After all the times I tried to help you, after all we've been through, you refuse everything you've ever wanted? Oh, I knew you were an idiot the moment you plugged me into your empty little head. You know you died alone, right? Vault hunters killed your friends, they killed your family, and you croaked in some volcano in the middle of nowhere. I am really going to enjoy killing you. <sighs> I'm done talking. I'm using the trapdoor. What are you doing? <laughs> Mattered what I've done. Oh, I can't believe how long I was stuck inside that empty metal head of yours. God, it's good to be out. Woo! This is always gonna happen. I'm certain of it. That shit's done. I'm everywhere in the system now. Not to mention my sweet new body. You're a maniac. No, I. Goddamn Jack! 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 Well, shit. What do you know? Most of my choices were within, were keeping within the majority this time. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. You know that narrator actually died recently? 
The guy who would always say, next time on Dragon Ball Z, Goku spends another 15 minutes talking about how powerful he wants to become, and then another 10 minutes powering up and yelling, that guy's dead now. Uh, Noctivet out. We all claim to search the database. About half of us chose to... The majority chose to reject Hyperion. The vast majority shot an innocent diamond pony? Well, what was the other fucking choice? UN61 tried to stop the tour group from dying. Honored Scooter with his catchphrase. Oh. Wow, Jamie. Truth is, a, it's been a, bit, a white lie. See, here's the thing: is like, I knew, no matter what I said to Jack, whether I chose to rule Hyperion or reject it, I know that I'm gonna end up on Pandora, being drugged through the desert by some weirdo in a mask. So I know it's gonna end crappily. So that's the problem with doing this story flashback style is you kind of know that no matter what you do it all ends up the same so oh yeah that is a little a weird little thing they left out isn't it all right well let's let's check out the preview we'll see more of your choices online what it doesn't give you a next time on So there is a, an episode five, but it doesn't it doesn't like um. So yeah, I realized that Fiona and Reese end up on Pandora together and they are being dragged through the desert by some weirdo in a cyclops mask. I have a feeling it's Felix, but I can't be sure. I know it's not any of the Vault Hunters at this point. The key to most Telltale games is that by definition they have to be collapsing possibilities to a certain extent. The compelling part is in making the same. All right, Kendra, what are you laughing at me about? Felix is a good guess. Felix, who is it? I, I just, I know... Because I know it's not any of the Vault Hunters. It can't be. It'd be... The body type is all wrong. Right. You clipped the dead narrator thing? Okay. <laughs> an odd choice, but all right. Okay, so uh, I've been playing this for like four sessions now, and so I've decided to take a little break from Tales from the Borderlands. I'll, mm, based on how good that episode is was, I'll I'll definitely come back to this uh, at some point. But I'm gonna put it on hold for now. Um, no, don't delete it. God damn, Kendra, you always. <laughs> Um, this is the one chapter left? Are you serious? You're, you're saying, like, devote one more stream to this game? Is that what you're saying? Chapter 5 is the... I'm 
not going to do it now. It's 11 o'clock, and I have to be up at... I have to be at work at, like, 7 tomorrow. I, I am not going to do it. Because these chapters are, like, roughly about two hours each. No way. Um... Okay, God. and we're doing mm, Borderlands Rapscallion Battalion uh, on Saturday. We're doing the original Borderlands. Friday, tomorrow night, is Glitter Kitty Corn with more of the forest. And Sunday is Kendra with Oregon Trail. So that should be awesome. Like the original Oregon Trail? Or like a new, upgraded, updated version of Oregon Trail. Let me tell you, I am down to clown with some original Oregon Trail. That's awesome. You... Nuh uh How have you never played Oregon Trail? Like, you never... None of your schools or, like... The motherfucking... No, you had no friends who had Oregon... Tri wow. I just... I thought everybody had played that at least once in their lives. You were an Amazon trail kid. Okay. Yukon trail. Alright. Yeah, I was just about to say, like, get ready to die of dysentery a lot. <laughs> And also snake bites. Um, I think bandits. I think just various animals will kill you. Oh my god, I am tuning the fuck into that stream on Sunday. I cannot wait. And Saturday's Borderlands Rapscallion Battalion is going to be fun as hell. Cannot wait to uh, get behind the fists of brick once again. And uh, be sure to turn it, tune into Heather's stream tomorrow night. More of the forest. That is a really cool game. Yeah, you're gonna die all over the place, but don't feel bad. Like, half the fun of Oregon Trail is all the times you die, all the different ways you die. Just basically thinking to yourself, like, there's every reason what I'm about to do should work, and then it just doesn't, because the game hates you. That's half the game, is <laughs> just, just trying to survive a game that hates you. Uh, fuck. Okay, so... One more episode, and that's the that's the game. Okay, uh, next session I will come back to this for the finale, and then I am going to play my first fighting game on Rapsky and Brigade. And I have decided I'm going to talk with uh, the rest of the brigade about this, but I would like to do a special segment called. Rapsky and, Pre Rapsky and Brigade presents, or Guy Fox presents, Fight Me. And basically, I pick a fighting game, and anybody else who has that fighting game is welcome to hop into the lobby with me, and, and we fight together. So anybody who views the stream can be like, oh, sweet, I want to play uh, Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter or what have you. Uh, I'll just probably, probably do Tekken, whatever fighting games are on Steam, we'll do those. But I am going to start out with the Mortal Kombat reboot from 2011. So uh, get ready for that if you have that on Steam. Uh, I'm going to start with story mode first, because story mode, story mode I could probably get one or two sessions out of. Um, and then after that, I'll, I'll take on all challengers. And if there's no challengers, I'll just do towers with various fighters. And um, people can request uh, fighters that they want me to play as, and it'll be a lot of fun. So, uh, thank you guys for tuning in tonight. Uh, this is Guy Fox signing off, and I hope you have a wonderful evening. Peace!